Hi, I'm John McGuire. I am the Senior Product Manager for Global Search. I'm going to take you through some of the things that we have going on uh, in our GitLab 14.0 release. The very first thing is uh, before you do your 14.0 upgrade, if you are running advanced search, you definitely want to upgrade to 13.12 prior to that. During that 13.12 migration, it will remove some of the components that won't be uh, referenced in 14. We do this from time to time to make the code less complex so that it's easier to add features in the future. And if you don't do the 13.12 upgrade uh, before doing 14, you might have to rebuild your entire index. And if you're running something that's like half a terabyte or a terabyte, that could take several hours, maybe even a half a day in some cases. Uh, so it's definitely advised to just do the 13.12 upgrade before doing 14 and everything else will be automated for you in regards to what you what will need to happen in, re, in prepping it for 14.0. You won't need to do anything special for that. So the first thing that we are happy to start working through um, is vulnerability. So vulnerabilities has been introduced last year uh, in, in a new form for us that, uh, that we don't have yet searchable in GitLab. And we are going to start working through the details of what it takes to add this as a new content scope. This is very exciting because we haven't added a new content scope into advanced search uh, for maybe two years. And the, the last scope we really added in the search overall was Epics, but that does not use uh, advanced search integration yet. So this will be available. Uh, it will use the advanced search integration. Uh, we're really looking forward to getting started on this. It won't be released in 14, but we are gonna start working through this. Uh, feel free to comment on the issue if this is something that you're interested in that does help us keep it prioritized as we actually roll through the different changes at a milestone. Uh, so this is another item that I'm really looking forward to. We have kind of talked about this in some previous milestones, and I think we are getting really on par and, and track with getting this change now. Uh, so a lot of times when you're trying to do a search, you need to change the group that you're in or set the group that you're in, change the project that you're in. The interface can be a little bit wonky. Uh, it's, it's kind of difficult to necessarily find all of the groups that might be listed or all the projects that are there. Uh, there's a little limitation to it. Uh, the capabilities that we've that we've provided so far allows us to actually add multiple uh, groups and projects. So what we're really planning on and wanting to do and, and looking forward to in this release is actually adding the ability to do multi-select for this. So this is incredibly exciting because now you have better options than just selecting one group uh, or selecting every group, including maybe even public groups. So th this will be a lot more succinct to try to give you back information and pre-filter the results to to look at things that you're you're more likely looking for. Uh, this is applied uh, to advanced search. It works across all of the scopes. Uh, really looking forward to bringing this forward. And uh, we do have the same uh, element that we're looking at for project as well, project dropdown. And moving on into, uh, this is more of a bug. So we actually have had uh, some reports in the past month uh, from some users that have tried to move large additions into their repo. Um, and as it starts to index in advanced search, sometimes it looks like the indexing just gets stuck or it times out for you know, an hour or more. Uh, so we believe we have this problem figured out and a solution for it. And we'll be uh, working through this. It'll, it should be included in 14.0 so that if you upgrade 14.0 and you've had this problem, uh, we hope it's resolved. Definitely look forward to feedback on that. And if you still see additional issues, I am happy to, to hear them. Please let me know. Um, so the next piece, as we've added in different variable um, pieces into different scopes, one that has kind of come up as our next item is, is I think it's, it's not going to be too complicated for us to really add this since we've already added additional sort options in other areas. But we're going to be adding sort into epics, uh, the epic scope for global search. Now, uh, this should be a feature that's available for both uh, users that are using basic search and users that have the advanced search integration uh, enabled. So 
uh, again, if you have a lot of epics, if you lose a lot of epics and you want to try to figure out how to kind of better sort these, this will be a helpful component for that. And this just kind of gets us started down this really exciting path. Um, so we've spent the last few milestones, last five milestones, breaking out the index uh, by scope. And there, there's lots of reasons and advantages to doing this. But one of the biggest advantages that we have is that we're now going to be able uh, to allow for advanced search to have a lot more features. It's going to be a lot easier to create these features. Uh, and in preparation for that, we have put together some conceptual designs of where we want to take this and what features we want to put on uh, to the future of, of GitLab's advanced search. And so this is our first conceptual design that you're looking at uh, to kind of give you the quick walkthrough, we extended out the search box, move the scopes over to the left. There are several different facets that are available to let you search by groups, type, status, author, very helpful, uh, labels. Labels don't exist in the index yet, so we'll, we would need to add those to put it in there. Of course, with that, there's a redesign for uh, the search result to include context of some of this additional information so that when you do decide to use a facet or a filter, you'd be able to see that the results that come back match the filter that you've used. Uh, we are also working through the next iteration of what code search will look like so this has become an all-star of advanced search for us, is being able to search across code. We continue to hear new use cases from our users. Uh, would really encourage uh, everybody to really get in and, and try to use the code search and give us feedback on it, because we are actively going to be iterating on this in the very near future. Uh, this design shows the ability to do some other faceting. Of course, we have group and projects. We have languages here, so you can then filter it out, of course, most repos are gonna have lots of different languages in it. So this allows you to kind of filter that down. Uh, moving the idea of what we've done in the past for syntax search into something that is hopefully a little bit more discoverable and navigable. I'm sure some people that are watching this probably don't even know that we have the ability to do syntax search. Uh, so trying to give this more context for users that, that might find it useful uh, is very, very helpful. Uh, there's a couple other things that we're going to be working through with this too. Uh, one of the things that's not pictured here, we want to start looking at how we can incorporate the concept of blame into code search. Uh, blame can add additional metadata that would allow us to look at some of the results and say, you know, not when a file was updated, but when was that line of code updated? What was the commit that updated it? Uh, it what's the purpose of that MR that it's, or the merge request that it's connected to? Uh, so trying to connect in all this data is the future of where we want to take uh, global search. I'm really excited to show some of these comps. And that is our preview for 14.0. Very excited to hear feedback on it and let me know your thoughts. Uh, you can reach out to me in GitLab or by email. I'm always happy to work back with our, with our customers on their ideas. Thank you so much.